This program is brought to you by Hanson Honda, your hometown Honda dealer at 5301 East Main in Farmington. A deadly threat lurks in 49% of the homes in La Plata County. It's radon, colorless, odorless, radioactive gas that occurs naturally from the breakdown of granite and shale in the soil. And in the Rocky Mountains of Southwest Colorado, granite and shale are plentiful. The whole state of Colorado has a high radon level. And in, color, in Colorado, the average level is 6.4. In Durango, 6.6. EPA says anything above four should be mitigated. As radon gas releases into the air, it can accumulate without warning in closed spaces like your basement or in your home during winter when all the windows are closed. Radon is second only to cigarette smoke as a leading cause of lung cancer deaths. That's why it's important to test your home for radon levels. It comes up through the soil, attaches to, I mean, through the soil into the home, attaches to the dust particles, and then we breathe those in. And when we breathe them in, they can attack the DNA molecule in our, in our system. The La Plata County Extension Office has free radon tests available, and it's easy to do. And if your radon levels in your home exceeds four picocuries, Rice says to conduct a second test and average the results. If the air in your home remains above four picocuries, install mitigation devices that will redirect the flow of radon air to the outside. Environmental Protection Agency grants are available for families who can't afford radon mitigation for their homes. The City of Durango has adopted building codes to encourage radon-resistant construction, and La Plata County is expected to do the same in the near future. In the meantime, if you'd like to know more about radon and radon testing, visit extension.colostate.edu.